Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I felt like being a little bit extra, so I wanted to do these glitter and chrome nails at the same time, with a bit of stamping on top as well, of course. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. So for my base today, I'm using Magpie Gel Color in Pretty Polly. It's a lovely shade of pink, and I've just done one coat and cured because it is quite pigmented. And because I'm using the unicorn chrome on top, I really wanted a glitter that was going to stand out as my base. So I chose Magpie Faith, which is part of their Supercharged Hollow collection. So as per usual, I'm just going to dab this onto the tacky layer of Pretty Polly. So at this point I do try and sweep off all of the excess because I am going to be using a no wipe top coat in order for the unicorn chrome to go over the top of that glitter base. So I'm using this great tool from Magpie and it's their chrome applicator. So my no wipe top coat is cured, ready to go, and the chrome that I'm using is called Shelly and it's from Magpie. It's their unicorn stroke iridescent shell like chrome and I just take a little bit up the side of the jar because you really don't need a massive amount of this. And initially I'm just going to apply it with the chroming tool all over just to make sure the product is covering the whole nail. And then I will go in with the silicone tool just to really smooth the particles out. And then make sure you remove any excess particles before you go in with your top coat. So here's what it looks like on the pinky finger there. So I'll just show you with one more nail and then I'll finish the rest off camera. So I top coated all the nails apart from the ones I wanted to stamp on and I'm using Dixie Plates Laso 1 so I did stamp straight onto the chrome. If you're not comfortable doing that, if you think you'll make a mistake and you'll need to wipe it off then make sure you do top coat that beforehand. So I'm using the Dixie Diamond Duo and my white Hit the Bottle Polish. So when I've stamped these then I will just finish off top coating those last two stamped nails. So to give you an idea of how these nails look in different lights, here's a little video of natural daylight. So here you can really see that unicorn chrome on top and the iridescence of it. And then when you're out in brighter sunshine, you're going to see the hollow coming through a bit more. So I love the versatility of these and how different they look in different lights. So that was super quick, super easy, but really effective. So really hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.